So today I'm going to teach you a couple of tricks on your Samsung Galaxy phone. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to this channel. And these tricks, you may not even heard about this or you never done this before, but I'm going to show you right now. It's very, very simple and easy and it should do all these features. So let's get started. So the first thing is, did you know that Samsung Galaxy phone, you can connect two Bluetooth, okay? So I'm going to connect one Bluetooth and the second Bluetooth right now. So you can see it's connecting right now. However, if you don't do this little features, there's one thing that it showed. If you don't do this features, then your two Bluetooth would not be connected together. So there is one features you need to set it up. So now you can see two audio is connected, but however, it doesn't mean that both of them is connected at the same time. All you have to do is you have to go to the audio uh, media output. Okay, and make sure you actually take both of them. You have to do physically do this in order to see the two Bluetooth speakers on. So if you're on a One UI 6.1.1, or one UI 6.1, you can see media output right here as well too. And you will see two Bluetooth will happen at the same time. And then you have to take both of them in order to have two Bluetooth speaker connected to your phone or else it will not work. Let's just say I have a Bluetooth right there and I want to connect all the audios to the Bluetooth except one app. Let's just say I want my YouTube Okay, I want my YouTube just play the sound right here and all the audios go to the Bluetooth. You can actually go to the setting and you can actually search separate sound. When you go to the separate sound at the bottom, you can see you can actually turn this on to tell the phone which one you want to separate. So let's just say right here, you can see YouTube. Okay, you can see YouTube, YouTube, and then to what? To phone or to Bluetooth device. So let's just say if you want Bluetooth device, that means all the audio will come to here, except the phone, except the YouTube going to the phone. If you press the phone, usually people will go to the phone. That means that your YouTube will go to the phone and then the rest of the app, you can see the rest of the app will go to the Bluetooth. On the One UI 7, you can see this like nearby device. So if you click on this, it will show you your device is here or there. So this, what does this mean? This means that sometimes you may forget, oh, where is my, you know, Galaxy Buds? Is it in the car? Is it around here? You can actually use this nearby device to show you where is the device is, okay? So this shows me that my watch is nearby. That's why it shows right there. And then it shows that my Galaxy Fold 6, which is here, is nearby as well too and then as long as you lock in the same account they will show you everything except the galaxy bus you have to turn this on okay so i have to turn this on then you can see the galaxy but it will show up as well too and then it will show you how many percent on the case and then so on and so on and then right here if you scroll down and then you can see smart thing okay you can see smart thing when you go in there we're going to go open open apps we're just going to go to device right now. And then this is all the device that you have on your phone. And then you can go in there and then you can adjust anything you want. Okay, very simple, easy, but looks a little bit nicer. And then if you go to like the audio here, you can control the sound as well too. You, can want, to, you want to play this under this sound, they will show you everything. So it's pretty cool, pretty unique. Looks like, you know, it's neater than just going into the Bluetooth and then that's it. Now we're going to go to the setting and then go to mode and routine. So mode and routine, we are not going to set up anything. We're going to go by default. So on the One UI 7, there is like this, this thing called discovery. And then when you go with discovery, they will actually give you like a preset what you like to do. So let's just say if you're in a meeting, right? You click on there and then it will show you that it's already telling you what you can do with this meeting and when you press save now the meeting will be set up right there okay so anytime that when you're in the meeting you just press play and then it will shut off everything that they tell you to do okay mute the sound do not disturb and then just mute the volume do not disturb and then that's it very very simple and easy so I'm going to show you the final, final trick. It's called 
RAM Plus. So we're going to go to the RAM Plus first and I'm going to explain to you what this is. So you're going to go to setting and search RAM Plus. So when you go to the RAM Plus, remember the only thing is RAM Plus is basically help you to add more RAMs inside your phone visually. Okay, not physical, but just visually. So let's just say your RAM is 12 gig. You can see it's 12 gig. And now it's already used 8 gig. Now let's just say you're gonna do something very, very like intense or whatsoever. You can add, actually use the storage inside the phone and lend you some RAM. It's called RAM Plus, okay? So let's just say I want to, I want use extra 8 gig from the phone storage to give me the virtual RAM, you can just add eight gig RAM. So now you will have 12 gig RAM and plus eight gig is visual. So it's not real, but it's visual. So basically they will adjust which app can go to this RAM plus, which one can go to the physical RAM, they just decide by themselves. So that way your phone will not get heat up, slow down, or even lag. So this is called RAM plus. So these are the features that on the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, please subscribe my channel and share this video. And this is just the basic features that you should know on your Galaxy phone, okay? See you next time and have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace out.